are working yes episode six six episode six, six. yeah six is it this way i hope yeah. everyone's it's doing well this evening we're feeling pretty stuffed after having uh, betty's wonderful taco salad you had betty's taco what oh taco salad taco salad thank you yes. I, I thought that was a little weird at first this is a tad bit hey. yeah that was you great i love i love weird. her uh i love betty's taco casserole Cash roll. Great stuff. Yes. Is it, ca- it was a cash roll? It was a cash roll. Oh, I'm sorry. It was yeah. You made it into a taco salad. I did. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 So you ate your own salad. <clears throat> I don't okay. know. All right. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like uh, episode six is we've got a few different changes. You can see we've uh, moved everything we to a whole it. different wall. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, more real to, estate. Trying That's to awesome. trying to make some more space for uh, the goal is like you might have seen in our post uh, is to get a, a guest on here. We'll have to, have to figure out how COVID works with that, but um, I think that would be pretty sweet. Um, I think uh, there is one thing I want to see real quick before we get too far. You can't hear. It. Can't hear us. Oh, you won't hear us in there. Oh. Yeah, you're in good shape. Allie's trying to make sure that everything's working good. <laughs> She's like, I can't hear you guys. So, uh, but no, yeah, we've uh, rearranged. Uh, I think you might have noticed in the intro, we had an overhead camera now. So it kind of gives you that kind of a breaking point of we're getting close. But uh, yeah, a lot of work in the, in the no, past I... week. So it gives us room to grow. Yes. So uh, it looks like... Uh, Got to do some some thanking and, and fellowship here, since uh, 
Looks like my buddy Tyler has liked the page. Um, Mary Peabody has uh, liked the page or following the page. Bobby Glenn Lawrence <clears throat> has liked the page. Ryan Weiss or Weiss, I'm not sure. I, I'm really bad at pronouncing people's names. Um, he actually is following the page. Weiss? We pre appreciate that. Um, and then we got uh, Rick liking the stream, and then uh, also Bright, uh, Bri Bryce, Bryce, Bryce liking the stream. We really appreciate the the followship on that, and the liking, and the sharing as we grow and uh, develop our show. You know? Yes. Um, we did have 153 follows. That's awesome. Yes. Isn't that Thank awesome? Thank you. And we're growing. Yeah. So we updated keep on, our keep on sharing it. Yeah, we end up updating our our goal bar, and we got it to where it says uh, 500 now. And the 500 mark, we're going to give away a uh, $50 gift card. $50 gift card. So yeah. we're going to put together a gift card and get uh, do like a drawing. Like we'll do some kind of spin wheel. We'll do it live. I'll get it figured out how that works. I've seen those where you can just, and then whoever pops up on the spin wheel, it's a $50 gift card from us. So let's, uh, let's try to hit 500 what, what kind of gift card, though? We were thinking, what, Amazon, you think? Yeah, Amazon? Dude, how about, like, out of that five oh, I got a Visa people, gift card. They all have to meet at a place at a certain time, then they can fight over. Oh. As long as you're wearing a mask. <laughs> I don't want you guys to wow. spread your bodily functions from each other. Functions. functions, fluids, and functions. Fluids. No, we're, we're not going to offer. Go again? We're not going to have an orgy or anything like that. No, nothing like that. Well, I mean, you're down with the man cakes. So. Man cakes are not <laughs> something I'm into. We learned that from the last episode after I learned yes. what the hell that was. Yep. But um, Home Depot, Rick said. <clears throat> meet at Home Depot, the Homo Depot. Let's see here, it looks like Donna Lee. That is uh, Elena's mom. Nice. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hello, Donna. We haven't met yet. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Uh, looks like my buddy Ken. Uh, Kenny just gave us a wave, waving at my buddy Kenny. But uh, so yeah, that takes care of some of our housekeeping notes that we uh, that we have on our monitor up there. Um, so uh, how was your uh, how was your time? How's it been since the uh, last show? So since the last show, uh, my car went down temporarily. I lost uh, some PSI out of it. Um, I was stuck at like six pounds, six pounds of boost. Wow! It went into like basic, like limp mode for some reason. And so I did some research on YouTube, and the, made my own smoke machine. Yeah, we're gonna show some photos of that later at the end of yeah. the show. I got some pretty, um, pretty cool photos of it's that. It's pretty cool. Um, it was about forty, fifty bucks after I was done. Uh, it was originally a YouTube video that said fifteen dollar smoke machine. Yeah, yeah. But I like to take things a little further. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I did with mine. So I was Made able to lo I was able to locate my leak um in my car and fixed it with a clamp. Yeah, that's and, great. Uh, works great now. Saved like a ton of money. So now how much boost are you uh I am back to about eighteen pounds of boost. Eighteen now. pounds of boost in his two thousand thirteen Subaru STI. And then Impreza SDI. Went and helped Elena today with uh, food bank stuff. They needed oh, nice. help with uh, getting things organized because it's their first time back doing it since March. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been a while, food bank. Yeah. yeah. So they needed my help with uh, some guidance on how to properly set it up with uh, the current situation we're in with the social distancing and everything. Oh, all right. So uh, with being involved in with my work since the beginning of this whole entire pandemic, um, I was able to give some insight for them to help them get the what they needed done so, nice so we're talking great that's great the that's director great. was really happy about everything and that's cool yeah the food bank is always something that is uh very beneficial to people in fort lane yes um yeah that's great it's great to see that they're able to come back because that's yeah. a hardship that everybody's still going through for sure i see uh, jay was saying what's up massey bros what's up jay what's, uh, what's up jay, what's up, jay? One of these days, I'll meet you in person. <laughs> uh, what Fly about you, Mike? Nation, love it. Our wagon's brother. Hmm. Oh, my. Hey, I basically... look, hey, mom's on there. She's asking us what's for dinner. What was for dinner? Yeah, taco we casserole. Had, we had Betty's taco tacos. Casserole. We had Betty's taco. Casserole. Tacos. Casserole. 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 Not our salad. So anyway, so what have you been up to for the past yeah. week? Yeah. Video games. Video games. 
Word. Word. Sounds like a video games. Video games. Word. You went out somewhere, didn't you? Oh uh, yeah, we went to a karaoke bar. That's cool. With a group of friends. How, how's that school. working in these these uh, trying times of COVID? How they they still do social distance. Everybody thinks that they don't, but they do. They they still got tables that are separated from each group has their own tables. Like there was a, a birthday mask. party and all that. You wear a mask when you come in, and then when you get to your table, you're not wearing your mask. It's like a restaurant. You sit yeah, down it's a like a like a. Uh, there were a couple of um couple of bars that you uh that we stopped by, and they want you to wear the mask the whole time. So it's kind of hard drinking drinking a beer or drinking you know a shot when you have to hold, wear a mask over your. Did you have beer? Or you... No, that I mean, guy I can't drink, drink alcohol. Oh, okay. I can't. I get I get pulled over one DUI. I mean, I'm done. Basically, say kiss by goodbye to my job, because that's what they look at. You can always get a, a a DD. You can get a designated driver. Yeah, at the bar where everybody else is drinking. Sometimes you get it squared up ahead of time. <laughs> hey, Denny's watching. What's up, Denny? Hey, What's up, Denny. Denny? <clears throat> but yeah, so yeah, that's all pretty much all I've done. All right, that's cool. Denny said, "Nice flag." Thanks. I know. It's, awesome. it's, it's an awesome flag. Yes, it is. Mom and Denny got that for me for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. 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 We replaced it. We kind of rearranged it a little bit and made the made some more room. So I'll be your DDD. Who's saying they're going to be the DDD? Jay. Jay. Oh, Jay. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There's your designated yeah. driver, buddy. Jay will take you out in his wagon. Go take you around. Make you puke. <laughs> He's selling that. You buy it. At least I saw yeah. it was supposed to sell. Yeah. Why would I want to buy another vehicle? Know. Why not? I have one get, vehicle already. He wants to get one of the 2020. Oh, sets. nice. Yeah. He wants yeah. to get the I last mean, of the uh, JDM. Uh, Rick is what? Uh, yeah, where JDM did you go for your uh, social distancing? Oh, it was the. Um, was it Ford Wrangler thing? Wasn't it? Oh, you went to Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field, yeah. yeah. So, it was a karaoke thing over there. Yeah, he's talking about 469 Sports and Spirits has karaoke on Thursdays from 9.30 to 1.30. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's saying he'll be his designated drunk driver. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, D, 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 D. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Triple D. Today is a big day. Today is uh, Jason and Betty's anniversary. Yes, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Yeah, well, guy right now, but guys, yeah. Yeah, 20 years. 20 years today. That's awesome. It's been an awesome, awesome, awesome time. I can't uh, ask for anybody better in life to share this life journey with. So she's an incredible person. So it's awesome, bro. Yep, it's fantastic. We uh, we shared today with uh, with you guys. It was nice. Yeah, nice to awesome. share. It. Get him drunk and then drop him off at someone else's house. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I would do. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. As long as she's uh, overage, <laughs> we're good. Mm, you don't no need underage. Anyone. You don't need no girls. When Curly's has karaoke on Fridays, Saturdays. Pike's Pub has karaoke on Saturdays. Nice. I haven't been karaoke ever. I did once, and I got booed. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I never karaoke. I like watching people karaoke, and then... Now I just sing in the shower. Yeah. You do the... Uh, the I sing in my car by myself. Nice. Yeah. yeah all right. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, do you do. sing? Yeah. Do you sing to her? I do. Oh, you're a beautiful. I do. Yeah. Exactly this point. Okay. Yeah. I sing songs, but they're inappropriate. I do sometimes. I do a lot of times. I sing a lot of times <laughs> yeah. about inappropriate things. Generally, it's dealing with my balls. Almost ninety percent of the time, it's usually singing something about nuts or balls, but not mine. Like. Basketballs, oh, okay. nuts that you eat. Well, I mean, you can eat those nuts too. But, anyways, moving on. Um, so we do a, like a little question, question answer thing at the after our topics. So we got a few topics that we like to talk about. And so if you guys have something that you wanted to ask us um, after we get done pulling out these topics that we found interesting to talk about, um, we'll answer some of those questions and kind of see where it goes. And if no one has anything, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's just there to kind of where we talk and we're not ignoring you feel like we're ignoring you guys but at the same time we're kind of getting that interchange so yep. but uh, yeah so topic wise I think that's our uh, our next segment right yep 
All right. So first topic is the if anybody hasn't heard, and if you're into gaming, I'm sure um, Denny Denny's Denny knows all about this. Oh yes. This. So you have Fortnite. So I'm going to give a brief thing. Fortnite is a video game worldwide. Billions of people play the game. It's a shooting games. Um, yeah, it's base. It's a shooting game, first person shooter. Um, you, you can build things like ramps and walls and stuff to defend yourself. Um, and they got into a little bit of heated situation with Apple, and it's now gone as far as uh, Fortnite is concerned with losing their Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is a tool that is used to build, make hundreds and hundreds of games. Yeah. And now that they're involved in this lawsuit because Apple has targeted Epic Games and their developers um, with Unreal, um, it could cause some issues with licensing rights. Um, it could cause some issues where there might be delays with other people's games wow. being developed. Yep. Um, they have some stuff in there I didn't know that, like Space Flight. Yeah. Um, yep. Unreal is involved in that. They've been, they're involved with other things um, from medical oh, yeah. stuff. I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah. Unreal software is pretty amazing. Yeah, Super. their Unreal engine is in a lot of a lot of AI technology and different things too. I think. And what's crazy is it started off as a video game yep. called Unreal. Yep. And then now it's just Awesome. Yeah, in Epic Games, the store, you can actually play around. They have a, an Unreal Engine uh, thing in there where you can actually goof around and play in there. So it's uh, kind of neat. Um, next topic is uh, robotic dolphins. So this is pretty cool. So robotic dolphins. Yes. So a company called Edge Innovations, they specialize in robotic uh, products for movies, for like okay. movie sets and things like that. Yeah. They actually Ooh. developed a full size <clears throat> dolphin that they're using. Um, to replace actual dolphins in like SeaWorld and everything. So they've teamed up with like uh, parks and amusement parks and things to get them back to, into their homes and use robotic type ones. So they're looking at whales, sharks. They've got other things in the plans to look at doing that as well. Um, huh. So I thought that was really cool because we wow. had talked about that before where like animals are not yeah. doing so well in some of these habitats that they should be in their natural habitat. And yep. now they're making these ones that look so realistic, you'll never know the difference. So that's actually kind of interesting too. I mean, you're not destroying the habitat of a another living creature, correct? Due to the cramped environment of a in like a sea world, yeah. um, free willy. Yeah, free willy. Yeah, I mean that's yep. a good example. And there, I'm sure there are there are places that don't run a show like that. Like, yeah. but it's hard to. I mean, it's like a cramped space, and they're used to being in millions of gallons of water, and you're putting them in smaller environments. So, so to add to that company, Edge Innovations, um, they helped develop over 100 specialized different tools and things, and they okay. actually created the Deep Sea Challenger for oh, really? James Cameron's. Wow. Um, he set the actual record for the deepest dive yeah, yeah. with a device into the ocean. That's when he went to so. see the Titanic, wasn't it? Was that James Cameron that did the Titanic? I, I don't believe so. I could be wrong. I thought James Cameron, or the nope. director of the Titanic, was a. I thought it was James Cameron, but I could have been wrong. But I thought James Cameron was part of that, or something, or something of that. I just knew that the Titanic was a pretty deep dive, and they had to create a bunch of uh, sea robots. machinery to, robots to get down there. Um, so, like this, the, the cut scene at the end where they're in the beginning where they're doing the robots Correct. to get down there. A lot of those were designed for like some world record uh, dives to find Titanic. It was interesting, but I could be wrong on the name. But I remember reading something or watching something about the Titanic. But what's that? James Cameron. Bam! Oh, so see? there we go. There we go. Yep. Right. That's probably the situation. Same guy. Yeah. Yes, but. The, uh, <clears throat> I just didn't know if it was the same guy, though. But yeah, the tit what's neat about Titanic is uh, uh, that was Betty and I's first movie to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Did you cry? I didn't really cry. My right eye cried because I had dirt in it. He cried. I can't see out of that eye, so it was just kind of leaky. I think it was just a bad day in the winter. Oh, man. I was a little emotional about it. I don't cry at movies. I don't have an emotional bone in my body. Click was a Click was an uh, emotional movie. Click? With uh, Adam Sandler? Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. That was emotional? Right at the end. At the end, I guess, when he, when he was, um, thinks he's going to die. Walking down the street, trying to get, uh, get to his kids. 
I think Christopher Walken is probably pretty remember, badass. Do you remember the part where he pauses and gets up on the table and parts right in front oh, of him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he smacks, <laughs> smacks the shit out of his face. And then he, he unpauses it and he's like, Ooh, oh, oh, ass. <laughs> <laughs> Something tastes like ass. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah, Pac Man is a good movie for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good stuff. That was emotional when, you know, the guy lost his arm, man. Come on now. It's an emotional part, too. All right, so cool. That's my topics. What you got, bro? Okay, what do I have? I have... I have... Uh, malfunction. Matthew's topics are far more important than me. Let me steal the... Uh, the mouse. The mouse there, Allie. <laughs> Goodbye, Matt. You're no longer available to have topics. There we go. Mouse is yours, Allie. Uh, so, I learned of, within, this has all happened within like a few weeks, um, so California basically put a demand against Uber and Lyft and said, if you don't make your drivers your employees, because some of the employees and some not, but the majority of them were wanting to be uh, an actual employee of these places to get insurance and medical st stuff like that, uh, benefits, and what I had heard before the start of this week was that Uber and Lyft said, well, if you're going to do that, we're pulling our company completely out of California. First Lyft did, and then Uber's like, we're out too. We're done. We're not, we're not going to have a business available for drivers in the California area, which is like, they're already hurting in Hollywood, on entertainment, the bars, and different areas. Now you're making it to where people can't drive people around and get things. So. Especially like the casinos and... Yeah, strip I mean, clubs out there. So basically, this past Thursday, California relooked at the rule and made it to where they did not require an immediate reclassification of the drivers as employees. And they're supposed to revisit this on October 13th. Well, one of the Uber guys was like, it's not a light switch. Like, we can't just turn 50,000 people into employees. Yeah. So, like, it sounds like. Uber and Lyft are on, like, they're interested in the, the idea of what California is wanting to do, but they're not going to do it like that. And California, you know, they're always reacting quickly without thinking anyways. So, straws. Yeah, straws. <clears throat> but um, I, just I, I still was... want to get one of those paper straws, though. Yeah. I just want to try it. <laughs> just roll up a piece of paper. Yeah, just roll up a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and and paper straws. Yeah, they stick. I was the reason why I brought that up is because I was listening to a, a video of the paper straws. Yeah, I remember. they're actually they got rid of California got rid of the plastic straws that were made in paper around them, and they made these paper straws that are put in plastic. <laughs> so, so ironically, they just cut the ends and got a plastic you, straw. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's funny. But there were some life hacks for those too. If you get a chance, YouTube life hacks on uh, how to make a straw. Apparently a lot of Californians guys were doing that. Hmm. Yeah, so that's one of the things I thought was interesting. Uber and Lyft have got a lot of things going out there that's... Uh... It's pretty lucrative business. <sighs> yeah, you did it for a while. Did you like I did. it? I liked it. I, I met a lot of interesting people in the time that I actually did it. So... What, did, what, what kind of tips would you give anybody that would be interested? You did Lyft, didn't you? I did Lyft. Did um, you do both? They wouldn't let me do Uber. Um, I could do like Uber Eats, which I don't recommend doing because I ran into too many times. You go to a place to go pick up the food, and someone else had already picked it up. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. but so the, you wasted the, all that gas to drive clear to like some other part of the town. So, but yeah. the lift, the lift, the lift was cool. Yeah, um, I would do it on my days off. Yeah, I remember um, you talking about some of the money you were making off of it. Yeah. It was pretty decent money. So. And I only did it a couple times a day, uh, a week, and I was. Just over three hundred bucks. Wow, that's pretty decent. I mean, that's like go, nice going out money. There's people that make a lot more than that. Like yeah, you go down yeah. to Indy, Chicago and you makes could a lot. make in a weekend. Um, you could do over a grand. Wow, like, that's yeah, make, I can make see more that. in Chicago. But you got to remember, you got to remember to keep track of your taxes and stuff because yeah, you don't keep track of it. Oh yeah, they'll get Chicago. Yeah. Chicago, if you've never driven through the downtown of Chicago, there's a lot difference from Minneapolis to Chicago. Because Chicago. They have tunnels everywhere. Right so now, if you're like on a GPS system and you're like, yeah, let's go here. And then you're like, turn right. 
And then, then you go through the tunnel, and then you're like going through the tunnel. And then you get out of the tunnel, and it says, do you turn at this intersection because you were supposed to turn back a mile that way? It's like, yeah, are you kidding like, me? Michigan's yeah. like that, too, where they have those little U-turn thingies. Like, you're, oh. to get to a place over here, you have to go yes. that way, and then you turn back to get yep. that way. Yep. You can get distracted. They have, they have that designated Calvary U-turn parking. light. If you can find a spot, it's very expensive. It's cheaper to get a ride and share. Yeah, I can yes. imagine. Ooh, I do not want to drive a semi through Chicago. Yeah. Denny drove some semis in some areas. Yep. I wouldn't even think about driving a car. Jeez, ow. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't even drive in Chicago right now. <laughs> I stay far away from that city. That place is falling apart. It's like New York. Holy cow. But, um... So my other topic I have here is um, there's just been some rumors going around within the school system here. Um, maybe some teachers giving some comments about things that uh, this might be like their last week of uh, so the this is not official. Not an official. This is not official. That's we're, why we're, I put question we're not, marks. We're not 100% reporters. Just no. to let you guys know. It's just interesting that. These are comments. There's an article that I did put, that I did have shared right there from Wayne where they were talking about technical difficulties and keeping up with you know what's going on and there's a lot of teachers just like going through a lot of hell right now I mean, I mean it's, they it's not go easy through enough hell just dealing with the kids in general and have to wear masks now have to do the mask yeah. separation yep. hand sanitizing and hybrid holes. hybrid online yeah. not online yeah. so there's just a, a lot going on that's pressing Fort Wayne community and there's been a lot of conversations in different groups that I'm guessing pretty soon it's just going to be all online pre- before long here. Well, like I mean, it's, so what are they going to do about sports? Are they going to release post- sports? They've already, they've already postponed were, quite a few of the different sports that, systems. And they and only they were, allow one parent to be able to come, one parent can't come. Yeah. And there was football games uh, last week. Yeah, but Northrop won. But they would have Sorry. But they would have yeah. had like Sports separate America. Uh, like he says, you can have one parent or one person. So Grandma Mancy is uh, watching this. I don't know about that. that oh, was, was that old? That's something, else. something else. Oh, okay. But um, but no, I just uh, keep your if you got kids in Fort Wayne community, keep yours on the ground. It sounds like there's some definite definite stuff going around right now that uh, I heard that I, I thought I heard even like like some COVID cases going on. That's uh, that's getting people like like one whole class gone not able to like under quarantine kind of thing too wow. so there's like a lot of a lot of weird things going on just keep your ear on the ground if you got kids in the fort wayne community district so but um <clears throat> what else we got here that was my other only other topic i got some uh, random thoughts that i can come back to after um after What's we do our newer things so let's go to mike see if it works hey it worked How about that? mine worked nice so this topic is gonna be last Oh, that topic. My last? topic. Oh, yeah, you didn't is, have any notes on your. Mine was the the fire that's in California. Okay. Um, she should be. You have the button thing to push. The well, button. that's going to be at the end. The fire ones. Yep. Pictures. Okay. Well, then that's that one is also at the end of two because I All was right. going to be watching so, the video. Well, we'll save. Uh, yeah. Why don't we uh, talk about? What we'll do is we'll give them a little heads up about the okay. video, and you can kind of talk mm-hmm. about that a little bit. So. So I'll tell you about him. We'll do that. I'll tell you about him now, and then we'll so when we watch the, the trailer, you guys will know who he is. Yeah. So the trailer that we're about to watch uh, here at the, end of the the show. End, at the end of the show is actually a new movie coming out. And I thought that was kind of fun, um, cool to see, know about it because there's a lot of actors are getting into the bandwagon of these Marvel and comic book characters. Well, the newest one coming in is Dwayne Johnson. He's actually Dwayne the Rock. The Rock Johnson. The Rock Johnson. Like if Sorry. he was sitting right here, you'd be ground pounded, power slam. What's yes. his move? What's the move the Rock does? The people's elbow. The people's, the people's elbow. elbow. Is he go like that? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't he? Do, what's the other thing he does? He's like, do you smell what the small um, Rock is cooking? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so the the character that he's playing is the uh, it's going to be called is uh, <clears throat> the. Black Adam, and the character is one of the uh, basically the against is a superhero that's Captain Marvel, which everybody that's knows Marvel. him. That's Marvel, Marvel. sorry, Marvel, Marvel, which everybody You're knows him. You don't have to speak. Whatever. What everybody <laughs> knows him as Shazam, Shazam. So Adam was uh, basically he overthrew the Pharaoh Egypt in the comic books. Um, 
later on, uh, Shazam pretty much renames him an errant, errant, I believe it was what we looked it up yeah, as. Errant. Errant. errant champion. Champion. Black Adam. And pretty much unable, he was unable to unvo- revoke his powers. But Shazam, but basically Shazam was able to put him in the furthest distant star away from the universe. Uh, shortly after, in the other co- more comic books, Black Adam returns 5,000 years flying back to Earth, which puts him back in 1945. Um, after that, Black Adam battles the Marvel family. Marvel. With Marvel family and which in the comic books he dies in the battle um you guys probably have to read more of the comic books or you can guys look into it more but to put him in, the, in this modern age a dr savenia yep. I'm, assuming, I'm guessing is how you pronounce it how I would pronounce pretty it. much resurrected using a machine to resurrect adam to be the modern age um the abilities that black adam pretty much has He's got the stanima of Shu, Superman human stanima, and invisibility, the invulnerability. Invulnerability. There you go. Yep. The speed of Thor. Har, Superman human speed and flight. The strength of Amon. Amon, maybe? Amon? I'm probably thinking Amon or something like that. You're probably Superhuman that. strength, the uh, Superman, a uh, superhuman strength, the wisdom of. Zuat? Oh, Zuat? Yeah. yeah. I'm bad with these like weird names. I'm sorry, guys. Genius levels, uh, uh, intellect, the power of Aton controls the em- uh, emission of magical lightning and the thunder, the courage of another person, and a whole bunch of st- stuff that he can pretty much do. He's similar to Shazam, is basically what everybody puts him as. Uh, other than the only thing is different if you looked at his uniform. Compared to uh, Shazam, is Shazam wears red, Black Adam wears black. Nice. Um, yeah, so there's a trailer at the end. Um, we're going to watch that, and then um, there's, a, there's some images from your, from your thing. And then, so like, it's kind of like all of yes. that in there. But, and then uh, the California Fires, I'll talk more about it once we show you the, video, the, the pictures on those. Did you guys see the thing crazy. about um, Disney? Not doing so well with Star Wars and possibly Marvel. Yes, yeah, George, George Lucas is actually taking over his Star Wars. Yeah. He went because it he, flopped. He with stepped Disney. down as being the CEO of it, and then he fired the lady that did the TV series of Disney. Yeah. He fired her, and now they're redoing, possibly redoing the um, some of the older Star the all the Star Wars that you've already watched. They're planning on remaking those. Didn't they already do that? No, no, not the the Star Wars. Like the um, how many times do we need to do a remake of it? No, yeah, we're there's remaking. No creativity. We're remaking <laughs> when like Luke came back and all of them. Why do we need to remake it? It's already it's well already done. done. I, they they were talking about remaking them to because they did not go to what George Lucas believed that his storyline should have went. <laughs> so they're redoing the storyline, I guess. All right. I guess. It's what happens when you have one guy that steps down and says, he goes Disney, I, be- I believe that you'll do my, um, do my work, and then they, they flop. It. They flopped it. They flopped it all over, and yeah. So, so they're going to redo it. he's redoing everything that Walt Disney did. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. He's redoing he, Walt Disney. I kind of took it you said he's redoing all nope. the things. Just that whatever done. they've like, done, the they're story redoing story. The, the storyline back into it wow. because they flopped it. Bad. Yeah, so Denny, we Matt, have 153 53. followers. Um, yes, I haven't seen any new ones on there, but okay. uh, we did we did make a comment earlier in the show uh, thanking everybody that has followed and liked. We did notice that we have 142 likes on yes. the page. Please so like. If you're a follower out like, there, man. please like the page. Please, please. Like the page. so we can at least have some up. likes and the actual followers even out. That'd be but, uh, that'd be awesome. But we do have a little goal ticker. It's like uh, right there somewhere, right there. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if we hit our goal is to hit five hundred. So when we hit five hundred, we're gonna do a uh, five uh, a fifty dollar. You did that before. I did, didn't I? <laughs> fifty dollar gift card. Fifty dollar gift card. We're it's, gonna we're gonna give it away. All five hundred people have to gather together and fight to the death for it. To the death. Yes. 
And you guys will have to do it with pillows. <clears throat> yes. That's a cool idea. Or yeah, a pillows. good idea, fight to the death of actually sharing it. So the more shares you guys share this out, the more followers. The more followers, there's better chances of you getting that $50 gift card. So Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put one in a pot. So, but, uh, so yeah, my random thoughts, right? Um, Mike, 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 what's going on? Um, we're still in the mouse. Still in the mouse again. <clears throat> you know what's interesting is this stuff worked before we started. I know. Um, it, I I've think no it's something with. It, I've noticed something we, with the notepad. It's kind of like this. Close it. Don't need it. But anyways, I think it's whatever <clears throat> we do a change. When something that goes over there and it back. doesn't save it. Yeah. That's what I'm We're assuming. discussing stuff that we should do after the show. But anyways, so my random thoughts for you today, and it's really only kind of one, <laughs> one centralized, and we all have an ism in our life. Um, I was inspired by this um, from listening to um, another, I, I listen to a lot of pod, different podcasts while I'm working at my day job, and uh, go down, Allie, go down, there you got it, <laughs> she's trying to get the mouse. So anyways, I listen to a lot of different podcasts. One of my listen to is uh, Ben Shapiro, and he had uh, Dave Ramsey on there. And everybody knows who Dave Ramsey is as far as, well, if you don't, look him up. If you're poor or behind in debt, you can learn his philosophies and turn your life around. But um, they were talking about isms. Everybody has an ism that keeps them from doing whatever they're, like they say, they have this ism or that ism. Like a dism? And, huh? Like a schism? I don't know what that is, but maybe that's your schism. My schism. I don't know, but uh, <clears throat> the main the main philosophy they were really pushing was you know deal with the reality that's in front of you, control that ism, and break out of it so you can do the things that you're saying you can't do because of that ism. So like one of the things that I might say is um, I don't know what ism it would be. Lazyism. Lazyism. Sure. It's Cause not that because you don't because you, you don't want to work on your car. But uh, it's not that I don't want to work on the car. You just feel I lazy. I just don't like the heatism. The heatism is. <laughs> there you go. There's your ism. <laughs> but no, uh, I just think that's something that I think we all deal with with life. We always got some kind of thing that's in the way. We just got to push it out of the way, face that reality, get through it, and um, do whatever we need to do to get it done. So, so basically, an ism is something of like an excuse or a wall or an obstacle that you're, you need to get. Through. Yeah. So. Um, Brokeism. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of a lot of womanism. Uh, no, ladyism. No, no, you don't need no ladies. Workism. You'll be all right. Workism. I don't you know about to that. Stop you stop Food. Yeah. Yourself. Foodism. I think a micism is my problem. I'm micism. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was kind of my uh, my random thought as far as uh, you know. Just we all have different things going on, so you know. It, once we push through it, we can. It's a little easier to see what we got to do, and if we keep this saying it's this, then we're never going to move through it. So, and I go through that right now. I I'm, I am personally affected uh, by that that mentality where I'm like I'm not doing it because of this or that, and I'll have an excuse for this or that. Um, so I'll I'll be the first one to admit when I give advice. Sometimes I suffer from that same advice. So, but uh, yeah. Good stuff. Cool. What about any questions? Was there any questions? Did you notice anything, Allie, that we need to follow back through? Bryce says he's got Bryceism really, really bad. <laughs> yes. Ism that some good looking boys. Ism that some good looking boys. <laughs> nice. That's a good thing you're saying it to us, Denny. Other people might think that's weird if it was yeah. just a random comment. <laughs> yeah. Mm, let's see here. I don't it's gonna a double virtual check. pizza party. I don't see anything in here, but uh, like I said, no problem. If we don't, we'll just uh, move on to, uh, I think we're on to something big, right? Something really big. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for hold it? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. It's not playing it. It's not playing it because it was turned off. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what pisses me off? 
We kind of messed that up, but it's all good. Hey, let's do that a second take. We could take it in a second take. Let's, let's, do, a, let's do a second take. We're going to take it over again. Yeah, we're going to do a second take. Cause cause it's, it's really important that we pull that one together. I yes. worked I worked the last week on these different transitions. And I, yes. It's important. And I helped. Yep. Mike sat here and helped. What do you mean? I actually helped <laughs> you on the delays. He didn't know what the delay was. And I'm like, dude, it's the same delay as you would pre-pay, um, pre-do a, a phone number. I know. I'm teasing. Anyways, you ready? Here we go. I'm going to do it now. Oh, boy, guys. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. You know what time it is, right? Are you ready for it? Hey, Mike. Okay, Google. You know what pisses me off is that right now I know we're still in COVID. I understand that. But they are still talking about this whole voting situation going through the mail. Yes, our president voted through the mail. That's because. He's in a different state. If you're being in a different state, yes. But they're more talking about how old people can't go vote. But they can go grocery shopping. That totally makes sense. Why can't we, like, shut off, show, you know, have younger people go in at one time and the older people go in another time, just like the grocery stores did. They did it for a long time, a lot of time. I don't understand why we can't do that. That is, this just time, it mind boggles me on this whole, oh my gosh, we can't do this, we can't do this, we can't do this. Or we can land, we can stand in front of the DMV. I did, did that all day. Yesterday, stood in line, 10 feet apart. Come on, what is up with that, guys? I, we should be able to go in and do our voting if you feel that you can go in. Yes, mail, mail voting is still possible you can still go vote if you're out of state and they're still trying to work it out the kinks but like i said there's a lot of kinks that that need to be done because there's a couple that are actually i think a couple of governors that are possibly might be revoted in because of the fact that uh, somehow thousands of ballots just poof disappeared and then apparently democrats are talking about oh we need to put a bill in to cover the postage which then the postmasters immediately said, we don't need help. We have enough people to do it. But who knows? I just think that we still just go in and just do your voting. All right. I love it. That was awesome, yes. I guess. So I don't know what your take is on that rant, but he's pretty passionate about it. On other news. All right. So fun and interesting stuff. My first one that I found, this is pretty cool. So you had the Tesla, Model S, um, electric vehicle. Probably one of the fastest electric, electric vehicles on Earth. Yep, it's okay. one of them. Yep, it's one of them for sure. So they put a, up against a Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Um, the Turbo S produces 750 horsepower and launch mode. Let's scroll it down. And uses a two-speed transmission and does zero to sixty in two point four seconds. Nice. Ten point five seconds and a quarter mile at one hundred and thirty mile an hour. Guess who the winner was? The Porsche. Yep. The Porsche destroyed it. Porsche Even nice. after Tesla went in and updated stuff to add more horsepower to it. Yeah. It still got destroyed by Porsche. Dude, this Porsche is right. It was awesome. I've always won a Porsche. Full electric Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, it's Porsche. 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 I've always wanted a Porsche. I really did. Porsche. Yeah. Like the 911s cool. are nice. I love yeah. them. They look. They have a nice, nice body to them. Look to it. Yeah. I like uh, Busy Moto. If you ever get a chance to look at Busy Moto, all electric Porsche. Give it a search. Give it a Google search, and you'll thank me later. It's all electric uh, Porsche is beautiful. And Busy Moto, if you don't know who he is. Um, very many people don't know who he is, but he does these weird concoctions of cars where he takes like a high horsepower turbo motor and puts it in a Honda Odyssey van and nice. then does like eight seconds, nine seconds, quarter mile times. <laughs> that's, cool. no, that's how crazy this guy is. So, um, yeah, busy moto is, uh, his, his all electric car. He's going to be another guy coming around in the market that, uh, that, uh, that's neat. You know, that, that Porsche, I can. Is that their electric car? That is their electric yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan's got one of those. Does he? And I think he's got the Tesla, too. I think Joe does. All right, next topic. 
Uh, Jay Leno has a sleeper vet. A sleeper vet? Yes. Okay. 2006 Z06 Pratt and Miller C6 RS. They put $187,000 worth of money into this thing. It is the team that built the Le Mans winning race car in the 2000s era. Yeah. Built this Corvette. Wow. Fully carbon fiber. This is a 2006, Six. which is the first gen yes. of the. It's got the, the square C, button. It's a C5, it? flip up headlights. Yep. yep. I am very familiar with this car. 600 horsepower at 600 pounds of torque. Right. And it looks stock. Um, so, how much does it weigh? Um, I'm not sure. If All you carbon look at, body? With the link that's getting popped up, Jay Leno talks about the vehicle and like in its detail and everything. Yeah. Uh, Jay Leno's amazing too when he talks about his cars. So, listen oh. to that, watch that video. Um, it's very cool. You've seen his garage, right? Oh, yeah. Which one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's got a bunch. That's... Yeah, no kidding. That's interesting. All carbon fiber body. Yeah. So, I think Corvette is already. I think they're right fiberglass, around. Fiberglass, aren't we? Well, yeah, it's fiberglass. Now, which is even lighter. So they, but they did though. They did the bodies. I wonder if the frame. Body the suspension, same. all this stuff was done. Sleeper Corvette though. Oh. Yeah, the Corvette. We had actually one more pound. Say that one more time. The car you're talking about, the Jay Leno has actually one more pound. Standard. Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. They heard you. Still pretty fast. 600 horsepower. I got to remember to unmute the yeah, microphone. Yeah, we have a there. microphone yeah. first. You can talk. Well, it's on the headset, but it has to be unmuted. My last interesting topic, this was just on a whim. I saw it, and I'm like, this is interesting. Oh, you know what? I, there's a certain individual that really hates these things. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about them all the time on his Birds campaign trail. versus wind turbines. Yeah. So a... A group of people in Norway did a study for the last nine years trying to figure out how they pre can prevent birds going through the turbines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I so what they did was they painted one of the, the wings or fins, blades, black. And it actually pr reduced it by 70%. No birds. way. Yes. They painted one fin black and one, it reduced yes, it 70%. Because, wow. because of the different color. Wow. Because if you take a fan blade, like if you look at your normal fan... It looks, if it's a white, so it probably like looks the, clear. It looks clear. It's spinning. So if you take one, it makes a, Isn't that, that crazy? That a different color. So like, just some clear. paint, a yes. little bit of paint, on, yeah. well not a little bit, probably yeah. took like 100 gallons oh, of paint We've to paint one thing. Yeah, those things so are the all, length of a semi-trailer. They've, they've gone, no, they've gone further, oh, on the, well, they've okay. gone down 69, it's like four of them. It's a, it's they a shut few, down 69 to bring one of those a, blades It's a few 25-foot tape measurements. Just a few of them. Yes. Yeah. Just a few. Just a few. It's pretty long. It's pretty cool when they drive them down the highway, though. Yeah, we have uh, the wind farms in Ohio. You can see them. Can you we imagine? Got one in, we got them in Anderson. Can you imagine an entire thing of birds going south for the season? Mm, just, you're not going to love <laughs> it. And then, hey, Trump talks about it all the time. He says renewable energy is horrible to birds. Windmills are killing them every day. And now somebody went and put some paint on it, and now Trump can't talk about that anymore. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, that's crazy. That's well, my that's, topics. That's some fun topics. I like that. That's good stuff. I really like that. All right, so our next... We, did, we got a follower. Oh, uh, yeah, oh. Ryan Massey. My, bro, my son. Yeah, he was... My son gave us a follow and a like. 154 now. I think, I think we need to get him on the show one day. Yeah. Have him come in here and chill sure. out. He's a funny little dude. He's got a lot of like. Here's some here's some COVID funny for you. I got one COVID funny from the house. Uh, I said Ryan, you got to get ready for school. He's he's doing the hybrid two days a week, sometimes three. And I said, hey Ryan, you need to get in there and brush your teeth before you go to school. Important. So your teeth are nice and clean. You don't want all the girls to see your ugly teeth, do you? And he says, Dad, we wear a mask. So he diffused my whole situation with. Wear a mask. So that kind of stunk trying to be a parent, and that didn't work out. Um, I still made him brush his teeth. But 75 other... feet long is what Denny was saying. Oh, nice. Some of the blades <laughs> are 75 feet long. That's long. That is long. And then the other, uh, another COVID funny is a um, guy at work was talking about how a mom, you know, dealing with young, younger kids in like the kindergarten to first grade age. Trying to, you know, they're wearing these masks and stuff, and she sent her son off and said, you know, make sure you listen and wear your mask. 
he gets to school, he's doing his thing, he comes back home, and she's asking him how his day was, and how everything went, and how did it go with wearing the mask, and he was like, oh, it was great, I had a fun time, and then the kid was like, you know, standing there, and she's like, uh, she's like, where'd you get that mask? And he's like, oh, I traded with my buddy. So, like, they're trading COVID masks <laughs> like they're trading, like, Pokemon cards or wow. baseball cards. <laughs> Here you so, we from, <laughs> so we went from a, you know, replacing the di fuzzy dice to having them being Pokemon cards and basketball cards now, right? The masks. Remember the last episode we were talking talked about, about how we were getting rid of the um, the fuzzy dice. We're putting masks on the on, on the on where the fuzzy dice were now. No. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> something we forgot to talk about that. We did. Um, yeah, we didn't forget. Did. We were saving it no. to the end, the best for last. Okay, best for last. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, defuse that. All right. What's next? No, we got to talk about it. What we did. Oh, are we gonna talk about that now? Yeah. Okay, because I thought we were gonna do this. Okay. No, we could talk about it. It's All right. So what we did? Um, what was it? Thursday? Or no. No, it's Sunday. Sunday. Yes, it was Sunday. Sorry. I've lost track of time. That's when we got our asses kicked playing cornhole. Oh, that was fun, though. It was a good time. We went over to our Uncle Rick's uh, house. Thank you, Uncle Rick. And Aunt Jen. And Aunt Jen. For the awesome party. Yes. Yeah, good burgers fun. and hot dogs. Yep. And some amazing mango. Mango, hot banero. Hot sauce. Salsa. Salsa. That was really good. Yeah, it was. I ended on my Betty's Taco today. You had on Betty's Taco today? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yes, thank you. That was a good time. We got to meet uh, My wife's Uncle taco Rick's. casserole is getting a lot of abuse tonight. Yes. Yeah, no doubt. We got to see uh, Uncle Rick's daughter. That was really cool. Yeah, it got was really cool. Got to see one of our cousins that one. came up. Yep, got to see uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. So, yep. yeah. Which I thought was just amazing because it's like the last time I think we saw her, she was like tiny. Um, like, I think she said she was 11. Yeah, tiny. Tiny. So. Oh, cool. Cheyenne? Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, Cheyenne. I didn't see that. Awesome. Hey. I know Rick's daughter is. Yeah, she is too. I saw that. Hi. Hey. Uh, oh, and who won the corner? Wasn't you. Yeah. That guy carried you. That dude carried that guy, you. Hey. You hit the I'm sure his You hit the flowers. You hit the flowers a hundred so. more times. Probably than... did. But hey, I yeah. still I still Stan. made points. Yeah. I still made some points. Stan carried you. You didn't make any care. points. Hey. I think he needs a shirt that says hey. I carried hey. no, 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 no. It's yeah. this it's this way. I chose my teammate wisely. No, he think he chose you because yeah. he knew he could carry somebody. Yeah. That's what it was. He, chose my he felt sympathy. He was like, I got to do my charitable deeds this week. I think I'll pick on this guy. Yeah. These are, you know. This dude's probably like a national four sporters champion. Here. He yeah. probably is. Yeah. That dude was a beast. Who's yours? Who's yours? Oh, always winning. Hey, me and Lena came pretty close to beating you guys. You guys did. You yes. guys came. You were the yes. closest, for sure. Yep. Knocked yeah. that one off the board, and then slam dunked one in. Yep. Yeah, He's that like, one. Oh, what about the one that, that I did the two in a row? The one yeah. that, like jumped right over his uh, the bag there. That was good stuff. Yeah, yep, that's fun. I was telling Ryan if he ever had to festival festivals come back, it would be fun, like him and I to join and do one of those cornhole tournaments. Tournaments? Yeah, it'd be a fun time. Do something fun like that. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to. Some photos of your little gadget, little gadget thing that you made. Yes. So if you yes. need a smoke tester, reach out to this guy, and we'll talk about your your fires. Yes. Some Kofi. photos of that. They're not my fires. Yep. I did not make any of these fires. Yep. Mike made these fires. No, I just want to make sure you guys are aware of what's going on in California. It's pretty, pretty crazy stuff. It's a pretty hot topic. Yeah. Yes. It's really hot. Yeah. Flamey. That was a madism. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a flamism. Um. But uh, so I'm going to hopefully when I switch this over, it'll work and it doesn't create problems. So first is Matt's little cool thing that he did. Let's see, here we go here. Mm -hmm. get, my, get my phone over. The funny thing is all of this stuff. Act
We'll label later. There, there we, we go. go. All right, there we go. Sorry. Okay. All right. Didn't so, even think about that. Yeah. <laughs> so we did all these photos and forgot the mic. So first picture there, you're looking at uh, where I sacrificed some of my socks to. Uh, <laughs> Did it, were they clean at least? Yeah, they were clean socks, but the top okay. band part was all stretched out from wearing them over and over and stuff. You got big calves, do you? Yes. Well, they were ankle socks, so. You got big calves? I got really big ankles. You got big ankles. You got kinkles? <laughs> you got kinkles. <laughs> yeah, kinkles. <laughs> so I put some of them in there with some uh, baby oil, which is basically just mineral oil. Baby oil, huh? Is, yes. that, is that the baby oil that you rub on your calves? Yes. I'm trying to figure out why there's baby oil in his socks. Yes. Put your mind in a really bad place. <laughs> What's going on with? I already was thinking of that, but I was trying to PG it a little bit there. Baby oil and socks. Anyways, all right. So what you're looking at there is a jar that I stuck that inside. Uh, the orange part is a soldering iron that I had fastened to the top of it uh, with some uh, Gorilla epoxy. Nice. Um, two tubes coming off of it with some brass fittings, um, and each one is on two different settings, two separate bar bins. And then one end's got a bicycle pump. And then you sit there and wait a little bit for it to start making smoke because it doesn't actually burn. It sits there and basically smolders. And it actually produced enough smoke where I was able to pump up and down on the bicycle pump and get it into my intake, which you can see on the last picture there, and was able to locate my leak. Nice. And how much money did that save you? Um, those machines probably cost about 600 bucks if you want to buy your own. But to take it to a dealership, probably to have it even done, is probably in the upper range of at least two, three hundred bucks. That's a guess. Yeah. Uh, because you got to start figuring these guys are making over a hundred dollars an hour. So they're spending We're two or three hours hooking up the machine. Yes. Talking to their buddy, scratching their balls over by their toolbox, maybe make it over to the car, yeah. just in their pants. Yeah. Take yeah. a dump. Come back. Oh yeah, that five minute thing. I got to go do that real quick. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I created. That is really, really cool. I dig it. I dig it. I'm glad that you were able to do that and get that fixed because I know how much you really like your car. I do like my car. I'm about to get some photos of the car. <laughs> Talk about that next episode. All right, so we got that thing done. Now we got Mike's wildfires. Okay, so I, I googled some of these photos. Where were these? So at? So where's these, the wildfires at? These are all on California, and you'll see here in a minute. There'll be another photo here of the map. Of California, but these the are just one. all of these. That's like the ridge line, right? But you there, can right? see where all of these. These are all the fires. Wow! And it's then the purples were new active ones. They're from lightning. They're from actual people starting fires. The last year fires that, were actually. Maybe or I don't know. No, wow. those are all the fires. That that's a fire line. Yeah, I see that that they started there. But they you see, these are active like ones. Hundred thousand people that were evacuated. Yes, and there's actually deaths. People have actually died from this so far. I don't know what the death count is. Um, I don't think we're gonna ever going to get an accurate one yet until, obviously, a lot of this is done. Yeah. They just got done with one. But they said um, that these are from lightning storms, but they're also from people that are actually starting fires or wow. burning down a business. Or, like, for some odd reason, during our summer, when we got that fresh mulch, people want to throw their cigarettes inside the mulch oh, yeah, yeah. yeah i had to stop a fire once because of that because wow. it was already smoking right in front Did of the sun no i you stepped on it. it they had a quick i stepped on it right i stepped on it but then it came out on a lit, a lit again because the mulch is brand new so just a little bit of an ash of anything but that's some crazy photos it's, but yeah i saw these i thought these were at least some uh some good ones but you yeah know, it's, a lot of people might frown on living in indiana but i tell you what when you don't have to deal with that that this tells me again. I and can you handle can see four the cars seasons. Cars are being and, on fire. Yeah, that's. Like, I mean, it's. We got friends and family. We don't, not family. We, we got friends a, a in friend. California. Yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, a gamer friend of ours that lives in California. So yeah, I guess got, he got evacuated. He got right? evacuated, and then he's back yesterday. Wow. So that's for crazy. right now, until because we don't know where the wind's going to blow the fire again. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the thing is they're fighting. The wind, it could change in an hour, it could be blowing to the east, and the next thing you know, it could be blowing to the south. That's crazy. So it's just, they can't, <clears throat> it's kind of hard, something they can't predict. So That's some crazy stuff. I'd hate to, hate to be a part of that. Elena's sister lives in California, Hollywood. Wow. Yes. Wow. wow. Doesn't she live in, like, Hollywood area? I wonder if she lives next to our friend. Our friend, uh, there's a note. I know, I saw the name. We have a message. We have a message. The mailman showed up. We're being evicted. 
What does it say? Someone needs printer paper. <laughs> Someone needs printer paper. Slide it underneath the door. Oh, cool. I got facts about my son. Can we read them off to you? It's yeah, printer. let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'll, we'll come back to the trailer here in a little bit. We'll go back to the main scene. Yes. <laughs> Let's All see right. what the facts about, facts about is. Mr. Ryan Massey. I love video games. Like Fortnite, Call of Duty, and Seven Days to Die. That is true. This kid is going to be somewhere in that scene. And I can't wait to see where it takes him. My favorite food is popcorn. I, he's from Fort Wayne. He was born here. His favorite color is purple and orange. He loves sports like swimming, running, and basketball. And his favorite subject in class is math and history and art. And his favorite movie is The Cable Guy. Cable Guy! And his favorite TV show is Psych oh, and yeah. Superstore. He's just started recently watching <laughs> Superstore. <laughs> I watched a couple of episodes of that. <laughs> I didn't watch so the whole thing. I just watched the couple. He says it's hilarious. Some of it. I'm like, it's like The Office is yes, what it is. But he says it's like newer, I guess. Newer actors, yes. Yeah. And then The Flash. And The Flash series... If you're in any kind of comic books though? or not, the the one that's on Netflix, there's a Netflix series, okay. Flash. Because like, there's like two awesome. different kind of Super flashes. awesome. Because like Warner Brothers did this Flash. And then he says, uh, I love spending time with my family, which is really, really cool. Oh. So he's doing a slideshow for school, and uh, I'm sure he really appreciated us sharing that. Yep. Hey. Oh, he says good. How <laughs> oh, is Ryan there? Oh, he's talking to Grandma. But, uh, all right, I'm going to cut back to the other scene. What we're going to do is we're going to test watching two trailers. The first trailer is Mike's movie that he uh, was talking about Black earlier Adam. with Black Adam. With The Rock. With The Rock. And let's see if I can... Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? All right, so here we go. We got uh, that scene. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> We're rocking now. Holy moly's. All right, here we go, guys. Let's watch this. 5,000 years ago, Kondok was a melting pot of cultures, wealth, power, and magic. Yet most of us had nothing except for the chains around our necks. Kondok needed a hero. Instead, they got me. I did what needed to be done, and they imprisoned me for it. Now, 5,000 years later, I'm free, and I give you my word. No one will ever stop me again. So the talk was is that there's two partakes on his storyline. Okay. There's the one where he killed the pharaoh, and then this one is they're partaking that he used to be a good guy, and they now he turned into a villain, and now he's trying to be a good guy again. Hmm. Is what they were talking. So. Wow. Well, it looks like. I mean, looks looks cool. I think we talked in the last show. Um, what did we say? I think I saw someone. I said the Rock's done a lot of good things, and one of the guys said everything. But um, what was it? Tooth Fairy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was a lot, like a lot of fun for people. But him in an action hero movie, I don't think he's done anything other than Scorpion King. Uh, rundown. Rundown. Yeah. What? What comic book is that? Comic book. Well, you didn't That's say what comic, I'm saying. But you comic said book. Adventure. Comic book. Comic book. Oh, okay. Action hero. Well. Okay. Like. Okay, a superhero uh, comic book character. I think Scorpion, Scorpion King, King is the only one I know of What's that he was a part Scorpion? of. Scorpion King? Well, I, I mean, he was, it's like oh, like an Egyptian comic, I mean, an Egyptian hero. Egyptians so. had comic books? Shut your face. They did, on the wall. You yeah. know, some people know everything like you do. <laughs> All right, so I found this one really good. <laughs> um, the first one was amazing. Betty really likes Wonder Woman a lot. So we're going to watch this one next. Oh, yes. And it looks to be a fun movie. So let's check this out.
This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. The time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. Citizens of the world! I'm here to change your life. Anything you want. Anything you dream of, you can have it. Go back, Sargos. Diana, look at you. It's like now one day has passed. I don't want to be like anyone. I want to be an apex predator. You've always had everything, while people like me have had nothing. Well, now it's my turn. Get used to it. I've never been one for rules. The answer is always more. They will never find us. I forgot to tell you. What? Radar. Will they will they <laughs> shoot at us? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Barbara, what That's did what you do? Yeah. You know, I'm not so keen on this one, I figure uh, you are, but you know what? I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> parachute exactly. pants? Yeah. Um... Does, it, does everybody parachute now? Parachute <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. Oh, that'll be a fun one to take Betty to. So There's another trailer that was funny on that one, though. Too. Yeah. Awesome. Is there? I'll have to find that. Awesome. And yeah, then we're back to our main scene. So yeah, that's a, a new thing we're going to try to tweak. We're trying to find fun things that we find. You know, it might be a movie tra uh, trailer or something else, but uh, something fun to do at the Especially when movie theaters could be possibly opening back up. It's Hey, I heard tough. AMC was like trying to get people to pay 15 cents to come in and watch a movie. I'll do it. But they don't want you to go to the voters booth and vote. I know. <sighs> But I would go in. Or they don't the want you to go to 9 11 and ceremony. Yeah. 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 But on a higher note, uh, episode seven will be next week. We'll figure it out once he lets us know his schedule. And if there's things that you guys would like to bring to the uh, table for us to talk about, don't hesitate to leave us a message or a comment. We enjoy interacting with you guys a yes. lot. Yep. It's a lot of fun. And uh, don't forget as, to vote. As we uh, bump around in this thing. Um, upcoming events, I've got my 25 high school year school reunion coming this weekend. 25 years out of high school. That's amazing. That is amazing. And we have that uh, trash thing going. Yeah, and then uh, we got, uh, see here, we got the trash thing on the 19th. We got my buddy's barbecue, which we'll have a bunch of antics there that we'll run live video from. Um, Maybe we can get some more people to come. I don't know. Maybe we'll oh, do no, like no, a... no, 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 no. That's a private invite. No. Oh, to the trash thing. Up? The oh. Yeah, we'll get some posts if, up. If, if no one's, if yeah, no, if one's no one's doing, doing anything, anything they, they want to chill out on the nineteenth to chill out with us and stuff like yeah. that. I think I think that'd be neat. Yeah, yeah. cool. The only way it's going to get cleaned up is you know people. Yeah, we did it. So. We did it last year, didn't we? We did the tire cleanup. You I, were out I, working. I wasn't working. Yeah, Ryan came with me. It was fun. It was a good time. It's nice to see everybody get together and do that, clean up their neighborhood. But uh, other than that, I don't have anything else. Community unite. Need, they closed down your, on the, our street. Yeah, they do have uh, Hogan yeah, Williams. Yeah, what's going with that? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, real quick. So we have a drag race strip in front of our house. So they're trying to do some traffic control, and they shut down a big arcing radius on both sides yeah, whole... of one main road to where you basically turn right off of a light and then turn left to go down our street instead of taking this viaduct. And they're going to put a big community event down there it's going to have nice. like fun stuff going on and chalk walks and yep. music and it's to help uh with the uh 
Watch remind it. people that they're driving through a community and it's not a it's not a race trip. Um, yeah, because they're taking that road. It's been a lot quieter. To go all the way down well, to yeah. all the other roads. Well, they're trying to go down to Lafayette is what yes. they're trying to do. And now they forced them down to... The next light. Whatever the next one is down that way. I can't remember. Right where the, um, the gas station is. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what that street is. But, uh, yeah, either. that's what they're doing. Good. Yeah. So... Needs it. A lot of planning. I, it, it's only temporary. I think they do it for like a few weeks, and then it'll go back to normal, and they'll take a bunch of totals. They got police out here that are just sitting here waiting for people to speed through here. Which well, is, I saw that radar thing. Out yeah. There. Well, and they got the radar on uh, Fairfield yeah, now Fairfield by Shigs and Pitt. Yep. Yep. So they're, it's important. I mean, I hate it when people speed through our city. You know, I can understand the highway, but Creighton Avenue. Yeah, that's where I, they're kind of, it's like forcing everybody to go to Creighton and then turn left to get down to, and that's a main drag. That is a main it's drag. A, it's a main street. Going through that way compared to the street we have here. We only got the one. Well, yeah, it's only one one way. Keep waiting for the big accident. I got the ring system. There out was there, there was an the... accident. It just the ring didn't catch it. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. She had lost her whole front end. Like her whole front bumper was gone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than cool. that, I don't have anything else to add. So, so I got going to end the notes with a final goodbye. Make sure you like, follow, and share our stream. Yep. yep. We got to reach that five hundred mark, and we'll give you guys uh, a chance to win a card from us of fifty bucks. Yep. Other than that, that's all I got. All right. All Thank got. you for watching the Massey Bros. Bros. Embrace, Embrace the experience. Embrace the experience. Cool. And there's still live mics. So you get now, like, it was a good show, and blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. Like that. How long is the live mic? 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, take it turn apart. <laughs> You know, I've been holding it for an hour. I got it really far.